The watch on my hand says it's time for another Terry talk, and I don't have a second to spare. But the people I interviewed this week do. In fact, they have many, many seconds, second hands, clocks, pocket watches, every kind of timepiece imaginable. They're collectors, and they each have over a thousand timepieces. What does that look like? It looks like a ton of clocks. Luckily, they don't tick all the time or else they'd go insane. But come take a look and see what makes them tick. My name is Richard S. Robinson. Uh, most people know me by the name of Rick. I am the owner of Robinson Antique Clocks. I've been working on clocks for at least 30 years. Here in the shop, we pretty much do anything. I, I do all the uh, mechanical repairs, but we do wooden movements. We do a lot of grandfathers, a lot of English and American grandfathers. You know, so many of these clocks have been put up in attics for. 40, 50, 60, 70 years because they quit. And there was very few people around that repaired them years ago. Uh, it's, it's bringing it back to life. You know, seeing something that's in bad condition and bringing it back so it's working properly and the people can enjoy it. It is very rewarding sometimes, very frustrating at times, um, where you got something that just keeps biting on you. And then one day you do something and you don't know what you really did, but it went on running and stays running. But uh, I do enjoy it and hopefully I can just keep on going until the eyes and the hands don't work anymore. I'm Larry Kretzinger, uh, Norfolk, Virginia, and I'm a clock and watch collector. And why do you collect clocks and watches? I've always been interested in the precision of timepieces, um, particularly uh, navigational type timepieces that are used um, on board ships and aircraft. Hamilton was able to mass produce this, which was amazing because before that, they had been hand produced mm -hmm. in England and on the continent of Europe. How do you feel when you get something running really spot on? You feel pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it, you, you've accomplished something. You've, you've taken a piece that's, that's old and, and uh, showing its age mm -hmm. and breathed new life into it. It's got gimbals and it swings mm -hmm. in the gimbals, just like mm -hmm. the rest of them do. Mm -hmm. so. What would you say to someone who like discovers you have all these hundreds and over a thousand clocks? <laughs> I'd say, come on down and help me repair these damn things. <laughs>